Um, Councillor De Bearmaker. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. I will be uh, supporting this budget. I'll be supporting the amendments put forward by uh, uh, Deputy Mayor Kelly. And, and I will go into the next election very proud to tell every door that I knock on that we pay the lowest taxes in the province of Ontario. And if they want to move out of the city uh, and move to Markham or Pickering or Mississauga, because I get some people saying, oh, yeah, the taxes here are too high. I'm going to move to Pickering. I'm going to move to Pickering. Go ahead, because your taxes will double. So I'm very comfortable with this uh, budget that keeps us being the lowest homeowners taxed in, the, in southern Ontario. That's a pretty good deal for our, our, our taxpayers. Madam Speaker, I would encourage members of this council not to vote in favour of the attacks and the division and the war on the residents of Scarborough and the transit that they deserve. I will be the first one in this chamber to move to de-amalgamate this city. When I find my colleagues here will not give the residents of Scarborough even a similar level of service to everybody else. There is a subway going to York University. Steeles Avenue, it's going to Vaughan. People in the city of Vaughan will have subway service before people in the city of Scarborough. There's 650,000 of us, and we have a subway system that pops across the Victoria Park border up to Eglinton, not up to York University at Steeles, not up to Highway 407 in Vaughan, not up to Finch Avenue in North York, not along Shepherd Avenue. And we Scarborough taxpayers have paid for all of that. We have put in our fair share, as have the people of downtown Toronto, as have the people of North York, as have the people of Etobicoke. But we are held to a different standard. The number of people on our line, as the CEO told us, is 14,000 people per peak hour. Councillor Matlow just doesn't believe that fact. He only wants to listen to the facts that make him comfortable. He's sitting beside councillors from Scarborough that he's not listening to. He's not agreeing and listening with Councillor Lee, Councillor Barnetti, Councillor Delgrand, Del Grand, Councillor Kelly, Councillor Thompson, Councillor Cho. We represent 500,000 people. There are 650,000 people in, this, in Scarborough. You won't listen to us. And I wish you would take a lesson from downtown Toronto history. Because in the 60s, if my memory is correct, there was a transportation project that the people of Toronto stood up and said, we don't want this transportation project. You can give us tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars to build the Spadina Expressway all the way down to the Gardiner, but we don't want it. The people rose up and said, we don't want this form of transportation. We want something different. And you know what? They won. And the politicians of the day listened to those people. And the Premier of Ontario, Bill Davis, cancelled that expressway and was re-elected. Now we have a Scarborough LRT line. Nine out of ten councillors are telling this chamber, we don't want it, but you're not listening to us. You're not listening to us. You think you know better than us? You think you're smarter than us? You think you have the facts better than us? You sit on your perch in downtown Toronto, you look down at us and say, you don't need a subway station. I'm surrounded by subways, you don't need an extension. We have 33% of the landmass in this city. I'm we this have speech. GO trains that go out to Pickering and Uxbridge and St. Catharines and Hamilton that have low, low densities. The reason we have the GO train system is to allow people who are spread out geographically to come into places like Toronto. And yet within our own borders, we have people who say, I know Scarborough's huge. I hardly ever go there. I'd probably get lost if I went there. But I know it's very big. I know you're 33% of the city. But I'm happy to let you keep 5% of the subway system. I know you represent 25% of the population. But I refuse to give you a subway system. I put in sneaky motions like Councillor Wong Tams to say, I'm going to take money out of Scarborough and sprinkle it around the rest of the city. No honour are in these motions. These motions are a declaration of war on the people of Scarborough. There will be consequences. That's the reality. We wonder why we cannot have one city coming together to build a city, because the people in Scarborough are too busy defending themselves from having their transit stolen from them. I was at the announcement where the Minister of Finance of this country said, we are funding a subway, period. We are not funding the LRT. The Premier of this province had said, we are funding a subway, not an LRT, period. And yet, we still go on with people trying to attack 
and sabotage and destroy the transportation system that Scarborough residents need and deserve. Shame on you. Councillor Lindsay Luby to speak. Well, what an wow. act to follow. Okay, I have, uh, you, uh, excuse me. Did you steal some of my notes? Okay, uh, <laughs> hold my time, would you? Are we ready? Just asking. 